Hi all and welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, this time around we're going to talk about how to convert an access point from unleashed to smart zone managed. So you've got an existing unleashed network uh, and you've decided that you need the additional features of smart zone or you need to manage multiple sites or whatever the case uh, and you need to convert that that AP over it's a fairly straightforward procedure, but it requires a couple of um, command line things to make that happen. So let's have a look. So the first thing, um, here's our AP here. If I refresh that. So here's a dashboard. We can see that, that uh, 192.168.1.23 is my unleashed uh, master here. Um, so it's, you know, got a couple of... Uh, a couple of SSIDs up and running um, and this is the only AP on it currently so uh, so what I want to do is I want to take this master and convert it over right so I have one working AP so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset it back to factory and there's a few different ways to do that you can do it with the button in my case I'm gonna SSH to it uh, and do it that way so pop over to SSH here um, and we'll log in with our, you know, regular unleashed credential credentials. Okay, so it puts us on the command prompt here. So there's not a lot I can do from this command prompt. So I, what I want to do is go into enable mode here in order to make a change. So we'll go into enable. It changes my prompt to hash, as you can see. Um, and what I want to do is I want to reset it back to factory. So I'm going to use the command uh, set dash factory right here. Uh, and so what that's going to do is uh, reset this back to factory, and then it will reboot the AP um, back to its factory parameters. So factory uh, before the, the, the unleash setup. And so that takes a few minutes to accomplish. Uh, you can't see it, but the AP is rebooting right now. Um, so it takes a couple of minutes to make this happen. Um, and once it's back up and running, we want to SSH back into it in order to complete the process and assign it um, the, the smart zone address. Okay, so we're back up and running. Um, in factory default mode, so I should be able to log in with super and sp-admin, uh, just like it says on the bottom of the AP. So super is my username, sp-admin. So that gets me into the command line interface, uh, right? So I am still in unleash mode at this point, but there's no configuration on it. So if I were to hit the the command um, the GUI right now, it would show me the the uh, setup wizard. Um, so what I want to do is I want to uh, uh, enable, right? And then I want to go into AP mode. So I want to make a configuration change to this AP only. So we'll go to AP mode. It tells me that I have all rights in this mode. And then I just want to set SCG IP. So this is going to be the IP address of your smart zone, whether it be a physical smart zone or whether it be a virtual smart zone. In my case, it's a virtual smart zone. Um, but that just depends on your particular situation. So I'll set that, right? And it says OK. So it's set it. Uh, and then I'm going to exit. I'm uh, sorry, I'm going to quit and then uh, reboot. So it does say that no changes have been saved, but in fact, there there are changes saved. So that the SCG uh, uh, IP address gets changed. Um, so it is going to reboot my AP, which uh, takes a few minutes. Uh, and then as it starts to come up, it's going to... Um, go out and look for that smart zone with the address, the SCG address that I just put in there, and then it will add itself into your smart zone, right? And so um, so I can see it rebooting right now. And so in my virtual smart zone, um, 
we will see it uh, we will see it come up in the staging zone when it's ready so it is it's not here yet I've only got two APs nope oh, nope I take that back there it is so uh, it's as fast as that so it's now sitting there in the staging zone um, and uh, and ready to configure okay so that's it pretty straightforward right so uh, again to review you basically factory reset your device um, you SSH into that device you go into AP mode you set the SCG IP address uh, you reboot your AP and then it's going to add itself into the staging zone and from that point you can move it into a proper zone um, depending on 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 how you want to configure your production environment. All right, so that's it. Thanks for joining and have a great day. Take care.